Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I wanted to talk with you this afternoon about something that's dear to my heart, and that's my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I'm a person that certainly did not deserve to become a Christian. I never deserved to be forgiven of my sin. But God loved me anyway, and he gave his son, Jesus Christ, uh, to die for me so that I could be saved from my sin and receive forgiveness and eternal life. I am extremely grateful to God because of his kindness toward me. I don't know about your condition, but I know this. God loves you, whoever you are. And uh, whatever you've done, Jesus Christ loves you, and he has a good plan for you. You know, when Jesus Christ was dying upon the cross, they just nailed him to the cross, and he was going to suffer there. He uh, cried out to God the Father, and he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I think that's probably true of a lot of us. We think we know what we're doing. We may be highly educated, but that's not what it's all about. It's about knowing God, our Creator, and putting our trust in Him. There is a psalm. It's a beautiful one. It's Psalm 103. I read it often with people who are going through a tough time. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. I was thinking how easy it is for me to try to just give God a little bit of time as if he's not that important in my life or I think I've given enough time now I can do whatever I want. That's not right. The truth is I owe my life to God and he's so kind to me. He's given me all this time and strength and resources and opportunities to serve him. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Every word in the Bible is so important. When it says all that's within me, it means all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Everything that I am, uh, I can use to be a blessing to God. How do I do that, though? Well, one way is to say I love you. Well, that's only so much. Another way would be to say, I'm going to stop just doing whatever I want to do, and I'm going to start living a life that seeks to be pleasing to God. And the more I get to know Him, the more I understand what I should be doing or I should not be doing. Uh, I don't know where that leaves you, but I, I'd have to say we're all in that kind of a dilemma. You know, how are we going to live each day? I mean, each day you have to make decisions. For me, I want to live a life now that I know God, that's a blessing to him. All my heart, soul, mind, and strength, all that's within me, I want to bless his holy name. And what is the name of God? You know, one place, Moses said, who shall I say sent me? And he said, I am. Say that I am sent you. It's a contraction of the verb to be in the first person, masculine, singular. What's that mean? I am. <laughs> and just, I am God. And he is. And he has blessed us above and beyond anything we probably will ever fully comprehend. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. Well, in my life experience, I keep learning more about the benefits that God has provided for me, some of which I didn't recognize at first. And uh, I was just going along through life and taking it for granted. The more I realize how many blessings God's given me, the more I have great reason to say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. I pray that would be your prayer too. I love you, God loves you, and we wish you would have a wonderful day. God bless you.